Let's Tom. go. All Get right. some. Woo! Get some. All right, guys. So welcome back to a new episode. And this is going to be kind of a two-parter. Uh, and it's all about E3 and our impressions. And as you can see, where's Nick? Oh no! Oh, no! His girlfriend requires attention. Oh. oh, the girlfriend. Died. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I really hope he doesn't die. Anyway, uh, so we're kind of, kind of having a two-parter, and we're kind of like you know, picking and choosing, and like you know, tonight with Harrison, we're gonna discuss what I think we like the most in common. You know, Nick and I have a few other things in common a bit more. But uh, Harrison is, of course, our Nintendo expert. You. Yep. And um, I mean, I love Nintendo too. I think Nick loves Nintendo. And too. Nick does I too. Think but Nick couldn't Nintendo, make it. Yeah. Uh, and I, I know Nick loves Square as well. But you know, I mean, so maybe you know, we can. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. So uh, anyway, let's start off with what I think most of you guys care about, which is Square and how. Everything went down with their sh conference and just their general showing at E3, and frankly, it was, I, you know, with Square. You love Square. I do love Square. You love Square. I, I have high expectations, and I know you really oh, enjoy I do them too. too. Yeah. Uh, but like, but there, it's deeply ingrained in my DNA. So uh, anyway, um, if they're, so I guess let's start with chronologically their conference. Uh, was on um, this past Sunday mm -hmm. or Monday? One of them. Yeah, one of those. <laughs> it was this past Monday. Yeah, it was Monday. Anyway, so and you know, I sat down. And I was like, oh my god, and like I cleared my you know afternoon schedule for this, and like I was like all caffeinated and jittery, all because there's this cloud of don't mind the pun of the remake sitting over Square. You know, it's just like you can't avoid it, and like, and about. whether they're guilty or not, uh, Final Fantasy fans are kind of left in a void now. 15s in the rearview mirror. You know, we haven't seen anything new on the remake in three years, nearly three years, and uh, yeah, we're. I've, I, I gotta say that we're a little, you know, got the butterflies swirling about wanting to see remake and. You know, there were a lot of clues, like this winter, spring, you know, you know, there was the news they brought Final Fantasy VII Remake in-house, you know, early last year, like I think it was like maybe spring last year, and, uh, and you know, I thought like, you know, maybe they should show something, and, uh, but we'll get to that in a second. We'll start off, you know, the conference began, and it was pretty short, it was like 30 minutes, and... I was honestly, my gut instinct at first was kind of angry because I was pretty, you know, I was just like flummoxed that there wasn't a, really a big surprise in there. There was like nothing for Final Fantasy fans except for the 14 Monster Hunter combination. I know, with all due respect to 14 people, I've heard it's great, it looks great, I played it, but I just don't have the time for it. So. I've, and I think the same goes for Harrison. Yeah, with I, that. we played it a little bit yeah, together yeah. online, and it was fun. But it was just—I don't know. It's not—I'm not a big MMO person. Very ambitious. You gotta have a lot of time for that shit. Yeah. So, uh, you know, uh, but you know, like in all fairness, just because remake didn't show up at the conference, uh, like if you really look at it on paper, like Square did. Had, does have a lot of games coming Square, out. See, that's like this Square has a lot out. of stuff coming out, and I think I was pretty impressed, especially like at the Microsoft announcement. Um, I actually really liked the Microsoft announcement, but I think that's mainly because they were just showing trailers and they were showing a lot of games that I was excited for. But it made me realize that there are a good amount of Square games coming out, like. Uh, Tomb Raider and things like well, that. A but lot of their Western yeah. developers, you know, Eidos, Crystal Dynamics, but Just Cause 4, like, you know, there's a lot of, like, stuff that's really invested in Western audiences. And there was, like, there was a good amount of stuff, but I think that with Microsoft being on uh, Sunday, uh, they showed a lot of those Square games off, and so I remember asking you the night before, I was like, what are they going to show that we haven't really seen? And I was excited for that, and I'm, I was excited about that for all of the mm -hmm. you know, conferences, but it just, it seemed like we saw a lot. 
when like in the Microsoft announcement, and that made me kind of wonder what we were going to see. And I feel like they do have a good amount of games, but it, we had already like the wind had been taken out of the sails like the day before, kind of. And that was my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I see where you're coming from, and like you know, I watched it. I was upset, and but like I thought about it. I processed it more. They announced the Resident Evil 2 remake. Uh, so that kind of like clouded my, or you know, purged all of my darkness. You know, speaking of darkness, the, like I feel like that Square did a really good job with Kingdom Hearts. Oh yeah. Like it looks great. You know, we got the release date, and we know it's the 13th month of 2018. So, <laughs> you know, that's a cool organization. 13 little yeah. underplay there. I'm sure it's all designed by Nomura, but no. All kidding aside. It sucks. It got delayed, but it's not deep it's in not the a huge delay. I mean, I was expecting I think, November. Yeah, December. I think I was expecting November as well. So yeah. I mean, it's only really being pushed like two months, in my opinion, and that's not horrible. I mean, of course, yeah, I wish it came out in 2018. I wish other games came out in 2018, but um, you know, I, I'm not. I'm not that upset about it. Yeah. Like at I, that point, it, the game would have been in development for six ish, almost six years, I'd say. Which is, you know, that's a long time. Yeah. It's ready to come out with the game. So, but you were saying, I mean, I just, yeah, it's just, I like, I, I mean, I was expecting it this year. It is, it is a little disappointing, but overall, I mean, it's not that far. Like, I mean, it's at least if they didn't say spring. No, no, if, they gave us a firm date, and yeah. they know that they had to. So, it's that mat just went in my mouth. <laughs> 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 Excuse me. Anyway, I hope I hope that 4K camera caught that. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, like I, I I was happy with Kingdom Hearts three, but but like it was that whole like dynamic of knowing Kingdom Hearts is gonna have a showing there. Square, like you know, it's been three years since they had a big surprise come out of nowhere, so I felt like it was time. It was due time for uh, something for fans to really look forward to, especially. The Final Fantasy fans, they're kind of wandering in the mist right now, so... Uh, but yeah, so let's go quick, real quick, what they did show that interested us. Uh, Octopath Traveler, yeah. which was also in the Nintendo It was in the Nintendo. The thing that like yeah. I'm actually like really excited about is that they have a new demo coming out yeah. tomorrow. So it'll probably be today 14th. when yeah. this video comes out. Well, so. the 14th, so it's coming out, and if you play that demo, your save file will carry over until the real game. So yeah, yeah. I think that's really cool because I know that there's been games where I've played the demo and then I get through it and it's like, wow, I just played the beginning of the game and then I get kind of bummed when I play the beginning of the yeah, game yeah. again. I think there can be some double-edged sword to that though. Yeah. Because you can just like get so into the game and have too much at your availability so early that you get really into it and you just like grind like hell. And if your save carries over, you know, so is all of your data, and I don't know, like, I'm actually on the fence about playing the demo. I'll probably download it, I'll probably play it for a little bit, but I want to get too invested, because it sounds like this demo, they said you can play as all eight of the characters. Wow, I didn't know that. It sounds like, you know, maybe play the first hour or two of their story, yeah. and like, like, I mean, like, thank you so much, Square, but like, I feel like I don't want to touch the forbidden donut just yet. Well, see, I yeah, think yeah. I, I, I kind of agree, I th but I also think that if it was further away, the release date, that would be a bigger issue. But I feel like if you get it on the 14th, it's almost like two, three weeks until it comes out yeah. ish. So, I mean, it's yeah, not a exactly. it's like, month. Yeah. I mean, we've got July 13th, so it's a solid month. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, you know, like, I'm, I'm really excited for it. I think I can hold out, but I'm, I'll download and play. What am I saying? Of course I will. Uh, but I think that game's shaping up great. Uh, like, it feels like, you know, for that style of game, they've had a while to work on it. And I really hope that all of you all listening buy that game because then it'll send a signal to Square to keep making stuff like that. Because yeah. they, they started their new, their new development team that's just for the Switch, and hopefully mm -hmm. they will continue making games like Octopath because, I mean, it yeah, it looks kind of like a 16-bit-ish. It's old but, school. Yeah, but I think it looks really cool, and I think people will enjoy it. So. Yeah. Well, I, I'm i pretty sure, like, everyone's going to like that game. Oh, yeah. If you like those 16-bit RPGs, like, it seems a really... 
nice callback and a little, you know, slice of cake for the fans. So, uh, anyways, Octopath, pre-order confirmed. <laughs> yep. Uh, let's move on to a franchise that I feel like I should love, but honestly my knowledge on it isn't that great. It's the Enix to Square Enix, and that's Dragon Quest XI, which is the first modern production value Dragon Quest game since 8, which came out for the PS2 in like 2005, I want to say. Uh, so, you know, it's been a while. They had, uh, you know, versions on like portable game, you know, consoles. And 3DS and so 3DS, like yeah, yeah. And like it took a little hiatus from the consoles. Anyway, so it's back with 11. It looks it, really cool. It looks really cool. Yeah. I mean, like it looks like a nice mixture of the old school formula with the new school yeah. you know game design and uh, and it came out in Japan already and everyone seems to really like it in Japan and I feel like Japan they're pretty sensitive about their you know gaming styles and all stuff like that because you know for, for example Final Fantasy 15 did not sell as well in Japan because it was much more geared as an action game but it did sell more overseas so Oops, we're gonna do. Uh, but it, it looks cool. Like I thought that, like in the trailer, that like the, uh, there's something about that MIDI music to me. I don't know if you do. Did you watch the trailer? Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you remember the music yeah. at all? And it's just like to me, it's like a little like I like that stuff, but even for me, it feels like dated. Dated. It just feels like it misplaced for how beautiful it looks, and it totally looks like you know Akira Toriyama's like. You know, dream visual video game is like never been achieved before so I this the collector's edition looks awesome I want it but I don't know yeah. I don't know I don't know I'm, I'm gonna buy it <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you on the fence on that one I kind of am but yeah, I mean yeah. I feel like I'm on the fence of a lot, a lot of and it's like it's such a legendary franchise to have 11 games and for me to not be that you know into it I bought 8 for the Final Fantasy 12 demo and I tried Dragon Quest Eight, which a lot of people liked, and I just it just didn't really click with me. So I got to really weigh if I want to spend sixty dollars on something that I might not love. Right. So yeah. So there we go, Dragon Quest Eleven. Yeah. September fourteenth. Sure. Yeah, I think, that's, <laughs> I I think that, that is the date actually. Uh, and then anyway, so these are the announcements, uh, and the one that interested me was Babylon's Fall, which is Square's follow-up collaboration with Platinum Games after Nier. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this could be pretty cool. They show, they didn't really show the game at all. I just feel like it was all like these like, you know, visual cues and just showing off the tone and the art direction for the game. And it looks yeah. very Western to me. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, more Western fantasy. So let's see what they do with that, which I feel like is Square hasn't really tried before. So yeah. maybe they're seeing this as an opportunity. Uh, but yeah, very vague on the details. And then they announced that Quiet Man game. Quiet Man. Yeah. That was interesting. <laughs> and like, that was like another like, Death Stranding level of like, what is this? Yeah, 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 yeah. you know, like. Cause it has yeah. the real it had, like, live, action, live action. Like, yeah. yeah, filming, but then it goes into like, an a action game to a point? I mean, I, I, I don't really, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't like, know. Yeah, it was I mean, still, you see I, it fighting. seemed like an action game. Uh, I think this. I think this is made by Idos, and yeah, no. I, I like. I mean, this. These are the two announcements, so I thought we should cover them. Both are vague. Very vague. I'm probably more interested in the Platinum Games game. Though. Yeah. So anyway, um, then I know we talked about it earlier, but like Kingdom Hearts had three trailers this weekend, and like you know the first two were like Frozen and really showed off those worlds and like the battle system looked gorgeous. Like, I love where they were, like, s snowboarding or sledding on top of Goofy Shield, and that really reminded me of the Final Fantasy VII snowboarding game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so... <laughs> so hopefully they can do they something could, similar. Yeah, yeah, like, maybe this is a testing ground for that game mechanic. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so, but, like, it, it just looks like, with those games, like, this, there's so many games within a game. You have, like, Ratatouille cooking, you have Wreck-It Ralph, like, all these, like, huge pixel art. You it's know, like very 
Pixar oriented, yeah, very or at Pixar. least it was, and for big, like for the like yeah. the Microsoft and the Square one. Then when we get to the PlayStation one, it's showing off Pirates of the Caribbean, which isn't a Pixar, but it's still Disney, yeah. which gets me excited thinking that there's going to be other worlds as well that aren't just Pixar. Yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean. That the the graphic fidelity in that is insane. Yeah. Like the character model of the character models of Jack the Sparrow. that actual humans yeah. and like they kind of you know toned up Sora in a way to look more realistic. I don't know if you noticed that. Like his character model looked different from his you know usual look, and uh, and just like the just how the detail, the attention to detail is Everything ridiculous. Was, like when they were like, fighting over the ocean and things like that, and, and like then the, flew on to something, rode it. Yeah. Went under the ocean, like swam under, pop back up, was fighting this tentacle dragon creature. It looked awesome. Just all within probably 10 seconds of yeah. gameplay to have that much detail in seconds. Yeah. It was, it's it's exceptional. Yeah. It's really like I mean I feel like that the t like if there's one way for me to describe Kingdom Hearts three, it's attention to detail. Like I don't I don't think I think it's a new level of how much is going on in such a short period of time. Right. Uh, and obviously, like, I mean, I don't want to say like which game won the show. I will say the biggest, we'll get to this tomorrow, is uh, the biggest surprise for me and I got most excited about was Resident Evil 2. But the game I'm most excited about is Kingdom Hearts 3, if that makes any sense. Yeah. You know, so. Because I think Resident Evil was really like surprising, but we've known about Kingdom Hearts 3. But, for uh, the wait, yeah. it's been so long and grueling. And they're going to be released within a week of one another. That's going to be a fun. Yeah, time. that's that's that is insane. <laughs> so, what is it? January twenty fifth and twenty ninth. I think twenty ninth. Twenty ninth is Kingdom King Hearts. Hearts. I yeah, yeah. For, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> so uh, anyway, really looking forward to it. Any other thoughts on Kingdom Hearts? I'm just excited to play it. Yeah, no, that's yeah. tight. <laughs> um, all right, so. Let's get let's get into where it gets a little salty for a second. Even though we covered this a bit earlier, but the remake did not show at all. Yeah, nothing, nothing. Damn it! So, I, was, I mean, I think we both were expecting either they're going to show it at Square or they're going to show it at Sony. I mean, Sony it. made the most sense yeah. to do it, and uh, and they you know they chose not to. Uh, so it really I think turns the dial a lot on where this game is in development. Yeah. And I think the headline is is that it's gonna be on PS5. Yeah. So I think especially yeah, yeah. omitting it this year just pretty like, much means it's gonna be on PS5. Especially heading into like the home stretch of I know the we PS4 lifespan. And also at Bethesda's conference they announced Starlight, which they were like our next generation game. Yeah. So I feel like that you and know, Elder Scrolls or like Skyrim. So six, yeah. uh, that'll definitely and be. And like PS5. they didn't give any, like yeah. yeah, they just showed like the world, like a bit of the world. So I mean, like people. I think are, that was just a CG. People are super honestly. excited about it. So. Yeah, yeah, but but you know, but it, so if even if they were making it for PS Five, the fact that they were showing these games, like maybe they could have showed it. But my theory is, is when Sony announces the PS Five, they're gonna drop the Final Fantasy VII remake trailer there to get everyone. Salivating. I think we've talked about it too, where yeah. it could be like a Twilight Princess, Breath of the Wild type thing where it comes on PS4 and PS5. Exactly. But it would just, they I, I feel like they have to have the first game on PS5 because they're, I mean, the rest of it's going to be on PS5. Yeah. And another, we know that it's episodic. For sure. And that's, that's another point. For them to make it a trilogy and for the first entry to be of noticeably lesser quality yeah. than the following two would really make it seem like a incomplete have, package like, systems. I don't know. like like i mean yeah but but you're right they might release it for they could. ps4 ps5 could. and you know just beef up the ps5 one and then you, yeah. there will be a step up in the following two so uh but yeah anyway that's 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 the theory workshop all right so seven remake damn it <laughs> come on let's just work get some, a little. Get some news. I mean, like, yeah, like, and but I mean, like, I, I want them to do it right. Honestly, I want it to be on PS Five. I want it to be. I want it to be next level shit yeah. for sure. As good as it can be. For yeah. Sure. Anyway, so let's move on to Nintendo. Nintendo. What'd you think? What'd you think of the direct? All right. So my main thing about this was that I think that I really ruined it for myself. <laughs> I I was really excited about it, but and like 
leading up to it, but I will say within like the two to three days leading up, I kind of realized that I had spoiled so many things for myself by just like, YouTube and the yeah, internet. like going I mean, through that's the internet though. You know, it is the yeah. internet, but I know that like I have intentionally in the past just like not looked at stuff. But this year I was definitely like, oh, what's coming? Because I'm excited. And then when they kind of dropped everything, I was like, well, I knew about that. I knew about, well, I, I was like pretty much confirming all these leaks that I had heard, but weren't official. And then it was official. I was like, oh, yeah, Dragon Ball Fighters, that's coming. Yeah. Oh, Fortnite. I, I do think that with Nintendo, it, it's, you know, last year was such a huge year for them that fans are eager to know, like, what's next? Right. Like, I'm like, y'all. 2017 was ruled by Nintendo, in my opinion. Yeah. So, uh, but like you know, I, I feel like they did announce a lot of good games. They like, did. There, there's a lot of pessimism out there. Nintendo's like shares dropped like six, seven percent. Of, I mean, over like the what are the reasons they're people don't think the forecast is as good as it was. And that they had some project they were working on. There was something called. that I had read about that was like a project of life thing that they were collaborating with someone on, and apparently they just dropped it. And that was like the, and from what I understand, that was the initial dropping of their stock. And then after, and then people were like, "Well, they're going to do E3, and then that's going to bring it and back." Then, well, up. I think that the it really dropped after the drop. Oh, I think it did too. And that yeah. because they people wanted that Metroid Prime Three trailer and or something, but like you know, like I, again. Fucking everyone's just so needy. Yeah, you know, like I feel like that on paper Square and Nintendo did a good job. Yeah, just because you don't have these mystery items there that pop up to blow your mind. It was pretty concise. Both of them were pretty concise. They had videos. I really liked. I really liked the first fifteen minutes of uh, the Nintendo Direct. Well, the Nintendo Direct, man, they've got that stuff down. Yeah, I they feel. do. Yeah, they've been, like like Square's video, I thought was okay. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. that they kind of. I mean, yeah, they're yeah. like, but Nintendo. Yeah, Nintendo's been doing this for a little while. So I, I and I, and I say I like the the first fifteen minutes, and I really did like. Uh, we are huge Smash fans, so oh, yeah. I was well, that's super, the big news. I was super into the Smash. Yeah, so was I. I watched every minute. Yeah, of Yeah, because it. I like, wanted to know more. And this is another thing where I think people are like, people are going to complain no matter what. If they showed like only five minutes of it, ten minutes of it, people were going to complain. They showed 15, 20 minutes of it, people complain. Well, with all the Treehouse stuff, they showed it for hours. I yeah. feel like, and I think that I they, feel like you get you can get the full impression of it just by going on YouTube right now. But so. I think that they needed to like, because I know some people don't even watch the treehouse stuff they mainly watch the direct and they haven't shown anything except for like this logo well they had i mean they had the splatoon like you know thing but it yeah. was just overall i think that they really did need to talk about it and get some information out and i think that what they did was good but i think if you're not like a hardcore smash fan you're like why are you still talking about this yeah. after 15 minutes? But like, well, let's dive into Smash a little bit more. So it's called Smash, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Yeah, and it's got every character, every character they've ever which had. is awesome. Like that, that was very exciting to me because like every new Smash would come out, you'd be like, oh, I hope he's in it. I hope they bring yeah, back yeah. that last character. Yeah, yeah. But now you got all of them, and they announced Ridley <laughs> in the Splatoon yeah. character. And uh, Sakurai said, like, I hope you don't expect too many new characters. I hope that's a red herring for him to surprise us down the road. I do expect them to announce some new characters. I do. I think they do. But like, I, I've, I would say five yeah. is what I expect. But I also, versus the usual like ten for like a new one. I also so. saw something today that says that there's at least like eighty stages. There were seventy five like Jesus. that they said were like definitely in it. Is and that including the Omega and the normal stage, or is it? I or don't exactly know. Oh, okay. I just know that people were like they found even more in like backgrounds that people hadn't noticed. So they like they're now saying it's like eighty plus stages, yeah. which is ridiculous. So that's it could crazy. be every stage that's ever. I would assume, or like, but yeah, it's like much that like that. I hope that we do get a little new stuff too. Yeah. And you know, I was suspicious when uh, they announced this because I felt like it was very quick to come out. Yeah. And I'm not upset with it. I'm yeah. not. I'm, I'm happy with it. I, there have been complaints already that it's like, oh, it's just like, you know, it's, a it's, it's Wii U with a fresh coat of paint. Um, and like the graphical leap isn't as big as the other ones, but like it does the animation, the character models, the stages, it all looks new. It's, I it's always all feel new. like each new Smash yeah. 
is just a better version. And obviously yeah. there are some because of systems that get a big graphical boost, but I feel like this does look like the next version of Smash. And I think that with the way that they're changing some of the characters, I, I think that a lot of time actually went into this and I'm excited to play it. Yeah, I hope my brother is super happy because he played Snake and Snake did not come back for Wii U, but now he is back, voiced by David Hayter. <laughs> and, uh, and, I, and I get to be Cloud, so we both get to fight each other with our favorite franchises. So yeah. that's going to be fun. Yeah. I'm glad they will complete the circle of brilliance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so let's go over real quick what else they announced. They announced a new Mario Party. See, and like, yeah. I thought that was really cool. I knew a lot of people were going to be excited for it. I don't really care about Mario Party personally. I haven't really played that many. But mm-hmm. my girlfriend loves it. And she, uh, since she's played so many of them, I when I showed her the direct, I was like, what do you think about this? She was like, I'm really excited. I was like, yeah, but why? And she kind of went over some of the reasons. And it's hearkening back to the way that older Mario parties were and they got rid of some of the things that like the new games did that fans didn't mm-hmm. like. So I thought that was cool that she kind of knew that and was able to tell me, but like I think some people are gonna be really excited about it, some people aren't gonna care. Like I agree. Do you care? I i I mean, I loved Mario Party for N sixty four and I loved that game. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, I know there's a lot of Mario parties. Like I played them, but I feel like none of them. Maybe it was because it was brand new. It had that have reached that level for me. And I hope this is it. I'll play it, but I don't know if I'm gonna buy it. I don't know. Like you, you know, like, play it in my like, that's the thing. It's a party game. You need friends, and like I don't have any friends. I just sit here alone all day. I do. Yeah. Think yeah. There was something that they talked about a little while ago where like two different screens were going to be able to interact with one another and they showed that with this game is that if you have two switches with Mario Party you can combine the screens together and mm-hmm. play inter like intertwine between the two I thought that was a pretty interesting like mm-hmm. little gimmick that was cool I didn't yeah. like that it's weird and different it's a little that's weird because are you going to get around on a table like just put on the screen yeah anyway I know it's <laughs> cool but uh, anyway so uh, real quick they announced Xenoblade 2 2. Well, it's really is their DLC, but they're also doing a physical release of it. Yeah. Did you read that? Mm-hmm. Which is unusual. Right. And I kind of like that. that. I mean, like, it's like an expansion. Did like, you hear really Shulk, insane. isn't it? Yeah, I read that. Okay. And that's pretty cool. Yeah, I thought, because you it's, really like It Shulk. honestly seems, the tone of it seems more adult mm-hmm. and more serious to me. And I don't know, like, I, I but the gameplay seems almost the same. So I'm going to see a little bit more. I'm going to weigh it out. Because you guys know me and Xenoblade 2. Yeah, I mean, I'll be yeah, honest. I mean, it'll probably be like a $30, $40 game. So, like, we'll, I'm just we'll kind see. Of, I'm no, kind of on the see. fence about it. Like, I think, you know, I, I I might get it at some point, but I don't think it's going to be something that I get day one. Day one, yeah, exactly. Because he has zero years to play. Anyway, so, last but not least, uh, Pokemon. Pokemon. Yeah, I saw Reggie with the ball. Yeah, make sure ball pick pops. it up. You get what you get you exclusive get Pew. Pew. Pew's exclusive Mew. Mew, excuse me. Pew Pew. Pew Mew. Uh, Mew, who's Mewtwo's first It's the form, 151, right? and I think some people were. Really I remember cool. this one. There was like yeah. there was like this thing in the original games where like you needed to move a truck, and that's where like Mew would be. And I think a lot of people were hoping that's the way it's going to be. In the game, I don't know. If the, but this like, time it costs fifty dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's the only way to get Mew. That yeah, yeah. I would hope that they would make yeah. it available in the game somehow, besides buying the Poke- yeah. Pokeball. Yeah, I plus. do like the idea of the Pokeball, but like you know, like it's. I feel like that it's. It's probably gonna be a dust collector in a year or two. Yeah. So. I like I like it just because I still play Pokemon Go and like you can use it with it and it kind of works as like a pedometer and you get some stuff with it, but like overall, I mean, I think it looks really, really cool. You're a fan and you're gonna get it, but you wouldn't tell it. I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say Push it's like it. a must have thing yeah, for anybody, yeah, yeah. but. I mean like the new Pokemon, like it kind of had mixed, a mixed reception, would you yeah. say? Cause I was mixed, I was very yeah, mixed. Yeah. I'm like excited to get another game, but I was expecting the core game. Yeah. But I think the announcement was really cool that they said that they're gonna have the core game next year. Yeah, I wish it was this year, but at least I know it's coming next year. And they also released the Pokemon Quest game that was a free game for Switch. 
and it's also coming to mobile devices and again my girlfriend's been playing it I don't it doesn't look like something that I would be interested in but she's been playing it a lot and loves it and I've been noticing a lot of people online playing it but it's still like I just like the core games for the most part so I don't really know if I'm gonna play Quest I might try it at some point since it's free but like I really I don't know I I I like I would Graphically, I thought this game is where the next game was going to go. I didn't think it was going to be this huge leap in graphic fidelity or anything like that. Get him. But... You know, we'll see what the next We'll one see what the next right? one looks like, because yeah. it could be a huge... It could be a huge change from, like, uh, the... Oh. Yeah. We're almost finished. We're almost done. Two minutes. But yeah, I think uh, I think that like hopefully the next game. I, I think from what I've heard, it is going to be a big leap from the 3DS versions. But like, I don't know. I'm not getting my hopes up that yeah, it's going to yeah. be some ridiculously amazingly graphic game. Yeah, but, I mean, frankly, I, I I'm not into Pokemon that much. Full disclosure, I just thought it looked like a game people have been working on for just like a year yeah like in my opinion uh, but but you know people like pokemon pokemon's the shit right now everyone's <laughs> into it do your own thing do whatever you want it's cool yeah just not 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 for me i think i mean uh, i think it looks like it could be fun but it's also more of like for people who haven't been a part of the series in a while and it's something that's going to get older players back in i think it's definitely for a more casual audience than yeah. like the core audience but so anyway real quick recap so what were your highlights? Like, what would you say were your, like, top three? What would you pin the gold star on um, for I mean, the show? For me, I would be Kingdom Hearts was the thing that I was most excited about. Um, and then, I mean, like, Smash, Smash would be the next thing. And, man, the third one. Like, I don't even know what to, I mean, I really thought well, we know Devil May favorite. Cry would yeah, be yeah. amazing. Or it looks amazing. Um, like, right, but I mean, if we're just talking about the things we've been, well, all the whole conference. You I mean, say yeah, I mean, okay, yeah. for the whole conference, I mean, I thought Smash and Kingdom Hearts were definitely my top. <laughs> that was being my those top were my too. Favorite things. Yeah, yeah, and, I, they, and they both were brought it and showed well. <laughs> and like Kingdom Hearts three is very popular on the show floor. I've been reading like yeah. the wait is very very long to play, and uh, people are waiting four hours for that. And it's the most talked about game on social media. Yep. Yeah, so anyway. All right, guys. So that's episode one. Stay tuned for review part two. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Click things. Hit the bell. We love you guys. Peace. See ya. Bye.